I knew I had to clean myself up. Models Inc. tonight at 8.30. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at all these letters. I wonder what the children are saying to Santa this year. Let's get right to work. His mailbox is bulging with Christmas lists, but there's help. Oh, Meet some maritime elves help. who are coming to Be Santa's to rescue tonight, live at 5. From the ATV News Center at every city and town in the Maritimes. This is the ATV Evening News, live at 5. Good evening and welcome to Live at Five for Monday, December 5th. I'm Nancy Regan. And I'm Bill Jessam standing in for Paul Menier, who has a day off. Now then, here are some of the stories our ATV reporters are working on for this evening's show. I'm Nicole Brown. It's the 30th year anniversary of Christmas Daddies, a big fundraiser with an even bigger heart that brings comfort and joy to children all year long. I'll tell you all about this year's success coming up on Live at Five. This is Connell Smith in St. John. Coming up, we'll check in on other charities to see how they're doing this Christmas. I'm Janet Stewart in Halifax. Helping others can be as easy as donating old household items you no longer use. I've got the scoop, or at least the strainer, later on Live at Five. I thought I did it. It made me who I am today. I feel And I'm also ahead tonight, home. Christmas can be a dangerous time of year for some. We'll look at some reasons why spousal abuse increases during the so-called festive season, and we'll focus on breaking the cycle of violence. And later, graduation is an exciting time, but when job prospects are scarce, it can also be devastating. We'll meet some maritime students who are learning that firsthand. And also ahead, remember the meteorite that flew through maritime skies just last week? Well, tonight we'll meet a guy who chases falling stars, literally. All this and much more ahead on the Monday edition of Live at Five. Right now we're going to check in with Steve Murphy, working on the ATV Evening News at 6. Steve. Thank you, Nancy. We have a breaking story in the west end of Moncton at this hour. The police in the hub have two dead bodies in a home there. The bodies of a man and a woman in their mid-70s discovered around the noon hour today. Neighbors tell ATV News the two have not been heard from or seen in a couple of weeks. The latest details in a live update tonight at 6. Murder charges have been laid in the death of an 18-month-old boy. Police have charged the boy's mother with first-degree murder. The 30-year-old woman will undergo a psychiatric assessment to see if she is fit to stand trial. Latest on the story coming up on your evening news at 6 o'clock tonight. Also, it is now up to the jury. Wade Fleet accused in the jailhouse beating of Donnie Finley last spring. The jury must now decide whether Fleet really intended to kill Donnie Finley or not. The latest in a live court report tonight at 6 o'clock. Right now, meteorologist Steve Weigel in the ATV Weather Center. Steve. Thanks very much, Steve. Wet, windy, and warm are the weather conditions overnight. We have a couple of warnings in effect. A wind warning for the Cape Breton Highlands overnight and also a freezing rain warning for the northern areas of New Brunswick. I'll give you all the messy details coming up later in the show. Steve. Yep, the Weagle weather for you at 5.30, and then at 6 o'clock, all the day's top stories, including Rick Grant and an iTeam exclusive, expensive environmental worries at the site of the Ultramar refinery in Eastern Passage. Ultramar has huge cleanup on its hands. If its Dartmouth refinery comes down, could take years. The full lowdown coming up tonight on the ATV Evening News at 6 o'clock. Right now, back to Live at 5. And here again are Bill and Nancy. Thank you, Steve, and we're putting maritime comfort and joy first at five tonight, starting off with ATV's Christmas Daddy's Telethon, which was a smashing success this weekend. And Nancy, we love these success stories, don't mm -hmm. we? We sure do. Telecast from Halifax and Moncton raised thousands of, thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars for needy children, showing once again this year that when it comes to digging deep in their pockets, Maritimers share the real spirit of Christmas giving, right? That's right, Bill. ATV's Nicole Brown spent the entire day covering Christmas Daddy. She joins us now live. What are the final totals, Nicole? Well, Nancy and Bill, it was a tremendous su success this year, as you mentioned. People from mainland Nova Scotia, Cape Breton, New Brunswick, and PEI gave a total of nearly $608,000 to help needy maritime children all year long. Finale to a marathon day of Christmas daddies. Once again this year, people throughout the Maritimes kept these phones ringing, making generous donations to help underprivileged children all year long. Thank you for calling the Christmas daddies. Tell us how may I take your pledge, please? 
Donations on mainland Nova Scotia top $350,000. Steve, we've got some All donations right. right here. Come on up. The numbers on Cape Breton went down this year with just over $52,000 raised. A big concern for those who work with needy children there. The best I can say is that it's not too late. It's still time to turn it around. This is an opportunity, I think, for Cape Bretoners to, to actually show that what happened yesterday on TV has nothing to do with the, uh, the hearts of Cape Bretoners and their generosity. A young lad who's been watching Christmas Daddies here in Moncton uh, since he was uh, a babe in arms, I guess, and it's been his dream to appear on this program. The Moncton Show pulled in nearly $200,000 in pledges. This year, it was uh, better. We, we raised $191,000, which is uh, over and above the amount last year. And the people have been very, very good. The response has been tremendous. Bid. No bid for Demi Moore. Oh, Plus, yeah. you get to spend a week at her house oh, with Bruce Willis. She's, she's, all she's making this right. up. No, she's no, making it up. In New Brunswick and PEI, the funds will go to the Salvation Army to distribute to needy families. And in Nova Scotia, the funds go to the Children's Aid Society and social service agencies. Hang your stockings and say your prayer, because Santa Claus comes tonight. Woo! If money comes from uh, the city of Halifax or the city of Sydney, it goes back to the area where it comes from. And I think that that really gives our viewers and our sponsors and contributors um, peace of mind. If you don't want to call in today, you can bring your donation in live in Sydney as well. Skinny, skinny, sticks and stones will break my bones. The pleasure we get and, and, and meeting people afterwards and, and hearing stories of how they were helped and bringing their children up to us, um, handing in a big donation at the same time. But that, you know, that that's a that's a good memory. It's a good feeling. And Nancy, it's through the effort.